Have you ever been denied, rejected? Have you ever experienced feeling you're not approved? You don't have enough. You don't have what it takes. And you've just been flat out told no. Then you walk away and you feel defeated. Stick with me. I want to show you how this client success story, how she went from feeling rejected and experienced being rejected and told flat out no, and how she turned that around immediately and how you can too, regardless of what it is that you desire. Welcome. My name is Rose and welcome to the Rosie Life, where we help you free your mind and follow your heart so you live a life that you love. If you're interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me, you know what to do. Go to rosylife.com and you can join the Rosie Life course and community. You guys, we're growing. That community is growing every single day and it's so exciting and I love it because it's just such a wonderful, loving place for people to come together, share success stories, ask questions, feel so supported. And I show up every Wednesday live to answer your questions and they're always recorded. So you can always ask questions and you can watch through our videos as much as you want to. All right. So let's get to that. You guys, I have several success stories and I'm going to get to all of them. And thank you so much for sending them to me. I appreciate them. And I'm just, I'm rejoicing with you guys. When I see either if you comment in the YouTube channel under the videos with your success stories, like I feel victorious with you because that is what we are doing. We are victorious and we're remembering that we are the victory already. All right. So, all right. So <laughs> this is really cool because this is also going to, I'm going to address a lot of things in this video. I'm going to share her success story. I'm going to break it down, but I also want to get into the idea of affirmations because there's a lot of new people on the Rosie Life channel. And then there's people that have been around for a while. And I really want to look at affirmations on a deeper way because I really want all of you, I want everyone to understand that your, your words don't have power, it's you. And once I learn the difference between just saying affirmations and understanding what was going on, that is when I began to see the movement. So let's start with her, uh, her success story. And this is actually not a client. She is a YouTube channel subscriber, you know, so, um, so she just has been watching my videos for the last few weeks. And she said she manifested, she, her car was breaking down and she manifested, she wanted a brand new car. And she said, I, I found a way I manifested a $2,000 payment for, to go towards my brand new car. And she said it took a couple of weeks and she found it. She says, but, but we all know what happens after the word, but right. But then the car insurance that became a problem. So first I want to, I want to share with you her conditions, what she sees as her obstacles, the circumstances, the problem, the thing that seems insurmountable, the thing that you can't get over and whatever it is that you are desiring, put yourself in here. Okay. Because it doesn't matter if it's a car or a person or a house or a job or whatever it is that you desire. It's the same thing and start normalizing that, that God doesn't see any sizes. God doesn't see any difficulty or easy or medium difficulty none of that. Okay. So start seeing it all as the same thing that is just very formularic. Okay. I think that's the word came out, but anyway, so her conditions, her difficulty, okay, is I'm 22 years old and within, I'm starting my own insurance policy for the first time. So we all know there's this mass conscious belief, right? That when you're this young, that you get gouged for insurance. When you first start that it feels impossible and you're going to have to pay, you can get insurance but that you're going to have to pay. All right. So she found her car, she went and purchased it, but she couldn't take her car home because she couldn't get an approval for insurance. So she said she was being quoted from 1400 to $1,800 a month for car insurance. You guys, this is what is like that belief, right? That, that these young people have to pay that for all these reasons, right? And she said she felt so defeated 
because here she had her car, she manifested the down payment, but she felt defeated. She was like, now what am I going to do? I can't afford $1,400 a month for uh, insurance. Do you see? But, and she said she did find one, one company for less. She said, but she said, I was not approved. So she found a company that said that they would take her in her age and that they would give her a lower price. She applied and they sent her the notice saying she's not approved. So she's like, what do I do? She fell backed up into the corner. The answer was no, you're not approved. You can't have it. And all she was in that moment was feeling defeat. All right. So those are the conditions. Now, what action did she take? Because a lot of you ask, well, like, what's my inspired action? What should I do? Well, she did. She took inspired action. She, she tried and applied and she got denied. She was doing all this stuff, right? But what is the real action that we're always talking about on this channel? And then what are all of these different coaches and books are talking about? What action is really required? Because even Neville Goddard said, you don't have to lift a finger to make it so, right? But there is an action that you do take, but it's inner. You don't have to do anything to make it happen, right? What, but what you do initially, that inner action is what you will do to make every, everything get on a roll to happen. Do you see? So action that she took is, and I read her email and I can feel <laughs> the determination coming off of her words in the email. It says, I decided, I decided. She doesn't say, I, I hope, just I'm wanting. No, I decided I am chosen. Wow, I am chosen. She says, I am love and approved. She wrote that all in caps. Now, she said, I'm approved now. I am chosen. I am love. I am approved now. She says, and then she says, thy will is done. It doesn't, and she's right. It's not, it's not going to someday happen. She's like, no, thy will is done, she declared. Now, thy will is done now. Do you see? I am taking my car home today. That is what, that became her, her new story. She went from feeling defeated to she made a declaration. She decided what is going to happen. And that, and so what happens? What's the result? She got approved from that same insurance agency that had denied her and said, you are not approved. She got a letter saying you are approved and sent her the documents to sign and for $148 a month. That's it. And she said, I'm taking my car home today, Rose. And she just goes on saying, thank you. And you can share and she sent me pictures of her old car and her new car and all that. But I don't really post um, too many pictures. I might do it in the community so you guys can see because um, she took the time to send me her before and after. And so sweet into doing that. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Right. But she says she's so excited and she got to take her home. She said, and I got the price that I was willing to pay for insurance every month. She says, I got exactly the price that I wanted as well. So she said, you see, she could have got stuck in these conditions and like, but this is the issue. And it doesn't matter what it is that you're, you're saying, because I get emails and I see your comments. You're like, oh, but I have four kids. Oh, but I have a deadline. Oh, but I have to, this is happening. Oh, but I've been in this situation or that situation, or it's a court case, or it's this case, or it's this. It's like constantly focusing on, this is my story, Rose. This is my story. But what would you do in this situation? How would you apply it in this situation? Do you see? It doesn't matter. The conditions don't ha don't have any power. The whole, your backstory is not what you want to be focused on. You don't want to be worried about fixing your backstory. Do you see? What you want to do is take the action of going within and deciding what and who you are now and saying, no, this is now. This is not someday. This is now. I am the eternal now. Do you see? So I just, I just love, I love how she just, she just took over. Do you see? She took over. And notice in here too, 
to, I want to add this in here. She says, I am taking my car home today. Do you see, that's not saying I took my car home today. No, she says, I am taking. No, she wasn't caught up in past tense, present tense, and that kind of thing. It's not the past tense. It's not the present tense. It's not the words. And that this is what I want to, I really want to get into here. Okay, so this is from Eric Butterworth. And I really want to get into the power of who you really are, not get caught up in what words do I say. So here he says, Eric Butterworth says, words do not have power, but they can be imbued with power if they are if they are um, if they are tuned in divine logos, which is logos means God. Okay, so he's saying words themselves don't have any power. So it's not about a special formula of words. Buy these special formulas of word and say them ninety nine times every single night, and you'll get whatever you want. Do you see? It's not the words that is powerful. It's what is behind it. So he's saying. It's if you imbue those words with power, then yes, with, with what? With God, with your power of who you are, now they have power. Let's keep going on that because that's just scratching the surface here, all right? So it's not what you say, okay? It's not what you say. It's not the tense, the past tense, present tense, future tense. It's not the tense that you say it. It's more important to ask yourself it's why you can say it from whom you are saying it as the truth the cause in other words it's not what you say it's not the words that you say okay it doesn't matter what you say it's what you want to you want to focus more on why you can say it from whom you are saying it as whom are you saying it as you're saying it as the creator as God, as the universe within you, as that all-powerful, infinite intelligence within you. And you're saying it, that's why you're able to say it as it, and that is why you will see it. But if you just flounder on, start, you know, saying words and words and words, it's like, okay, eventually something's going to stick because you're powerful, all right? But this is why people say they've been doing affirmations for so long and they don't see any change or they just say at one time and they're like, it didn't work. You're lying. This is, this is baloney. Do you see that? Because they're focused on what they're saying and what they're doing externally and not understanding why it actually works. And it's really simple. It's not a deep study of why and with whom you're saying it. It's because you are the great I am. Do you see? So in, uh, this is a scripture in Proverbs 18, 21. It says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. There, those who love it will eat its, will eat its fruits. <laughs> That's where I put it over there. So death and life are in the power of the tongue. Those who love it will eat its fruit. So tongue in, in metaphysically, right? Tongue represents, it's the agent of the mind. So it's not that the tongue itself has all this power, right? The, the tongue is an expression of the mind, of divine mind. So out of, and you've heard this out of your heart, the mouth speaks, right? These kind of sayings, that's what this is saying. And death and life is you're either, you're either the words or the things that you're speaking into its existence, right? You'll, you're either causing something to shut down. You're like, no, it's not going to work for me. It doesn't work. That's you're giving death to your desires or you give life to them and say, I am that. Do you see? So you can either, you can either give death to your desires or you can give them life. Give them some CPR, people, right? <laughs> let, them, let them breathe. <laughs> give them some life by saying yes. This is why I can do it because I am that I am. I'm that great. I am the great I am. I am all there is. I'm the cause. I am God. Do you see? So it's in here, and, and I really like this too. And this is from Ernest Holmes. And this is to give you another example. I really wanted to bring different, different authors, different books, you know, for different perspectives. But it's um, in Eric Holmes, he says, 
we should sense he's talking about when you're speaking the the power of your of your words okay he said we should sense that back of the word which we speak is a power of the universe surging to express itself then speak the word consciously knowing it is law that is powerful so in other words he's saying we should sense so it doesn't mean you should feel something in your body you have to conjure up a feeling no sense is just an awareness right having an awareness of why and whom you are doing it as right what's backing it up so we should sense that back of the word which we speak is the power of the universe that is really what it is it's backing everything that's coming off of your out of your mouth right the, that the universe surging to express itself, its desire, remember love just seeks to love. Love is just love and it just seeks to continue expressing itself. And that is what ha he's talking about. And then speak the word consciously. That's different. Speaking a word consciously, right? Affirming, assuming something consciously is different than you just mumbling off words because some coach told you because you bought some script on on reddit or on some facebook group or you found it on some commercial in the ads right do this talk about this and you're just like i have no idea why i'm doing this or why it works i'm just going to keep saying it and some people have success why because they have a belief in the purchase and their purchase that they think that purchasing and doing it is going to work that's the belief they don't realize that they don't even need the script they don't need the affirmation that they don't even need to say those words because they are everything. So no matter what you plug your power into, it works. Do you see? It works. And it and he's saying when you when you use the word consciously, knowing it is law. Do you see the difference in just saying words and not knowing that it is law? What what you're speaking is law. It's not a hopefully. It's law. It's finite. So um, in Florence Goble Sharon Shin, many of you know her, and it's so, and it's one of you even started comparing me to Florence Scoble Shin in the way that she taught. But she, in, her, in her book, Your Word is Your Wand, which is a great book, you guys, and she has wonderful affirmations in that book. Um, but you can tell how powerful, you know, she, she was just felt that just that conviction behind her affirmations like she, she is girls not messing around with those affirmations okay and that's that's kind of the sense that you want to have you're like i'm not just bumbling words here all right i'm speaking the truth that i'm speaking the truth and i have the power of the universe backing up my words that is why i can speak them with confidence with that conviction rather all right and in her book, she says, there is nothing to fear, for there is no power to hurt. And that is what this client did, is she knew. She knew, even though she was feeling fear and defeated, she knew that there's really nothing to fear here, all right? She says, because there is no power to hurt. There is no power to hurt, you guys. And, there's, and I made a little, uh, a short reel about this, it's like, there's just your belief that there's a power to hurt you. There's a belief that you have to do something different to earn it or have it or receive it, right? Instead of looking for blocks and looking for limitations and looking for beliefs that you need to clear out of your subconscious mind or clear block energies from your body, instead of you doing all that, realize that there is nothing that you, that need, you need to fear. There is no opposing power, like she says. There's nothing against you. You just want to release the belief that there is something wrong or something that needs to be healed or cleared from you. Do you see? There is no blocks. There's no limitations. And you guys, I used to do that too. And I used to, you guys, I used to buy into that. And initially I taught that too. And I've like been taking off all those videos. I'm like, I'm like, no, this is like, I found the express later, express elevator people. I found the express elevator in knowing who I am that when you say, and I've been saying it for years that I'm the cause of it all. But really, do you get that? Do you get that? That you are truly divine, that you are the cause of it all, that you and your father are one. 
that you are one with God. There's no separation. There's no difference. Okay. That yes, God is that great power, right? Even that Bible verse that says my father and I are one, but my father's greater than I, right? You're one with that power. You're one with God. You were created in God's image. So that means you're perfect, that you have all the power of the universe backing you up at all times. There is nothing to fear. Just that fear, the belief in those fears is the only thing that you let go of. Do you see? So in the meantime, and a lot of people say, well, what do I do in the meantime, right? There, do you see you're already creating in the meantime? You're assuming and using the power of your word saying that there's a meantime, that you're waiting period, that, you're, that there's something that you're going to have to wait for. What do I do and how do I react to everything? Do you see where your focus gets shifted off of who you are? And now you're concerned about what's happening in the meantime or while things unfold. Do you see if that's where your focus is, that's where you're going to stay because that's your power, that your awareness, like Neville Goddard said, is the power of your awareness. And that's an amazing book, by the way, if you ever want to read something or you can hear his lecture for free on YouTube, right? But that's the power of awareness. That's what he, that's what is, Neville's talking about. That's what all these teachers are talking about right? That what you become aware of is what you keep experiencing. So become more aware of who you are. Become more aware of why it is you can speak these things and through whom you are speaking these things through and that the power of the universe is behind your word. In other words, remember, the tongue is an agent of the mind of your imagination. So that is what you want to be focusing on why you can and through whom you are speaking it through. All right, my loves, thank you guys so much for liking the videos. Thank you for helping the Rosie Life grow. And thank you for sharing my, my, my channel with others so that they can learn more about the Rosie Life and more about who they are, really, because that's what the Rosie Life is doing. All right, so you guys are so freaking amazing. I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here and for subscribing to the channel. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.